then there is this diaphragmatic rupture okay uh, there is a uh, very interesting uh, patient that i have seen okay let me just discuss that case first and then we'll go ahead in this diaphragmatic rupture case so uh, we have got one patient with the uh, chest trauma okay we have as we have gone for abc we have gone in that picture only air we maintain breathing circulation is there then we have uh, seen that there is bilateral pneumothorax patient was in unstable we go ahead for uh, needle decompression okay there was uh, gush of air on both the sides we converted both the sides with an icd placement okay now once we have done all these things the patient was still complaining of pain a lot of pain now we would don't understand from where this is happening we got the x-ray done of that patient first then we have seen that both the sides there was no pneumothorax we have placed the icd after the lindel decompression then the a patient again says that she is having a lot of pain in the chest a lot then we got the uh, repeat x ray done for that patient after the icd placement okay and at that time we have seen that there were bowel contents over the chest the, the bowel was there okay uh, your stomach goes up on the left side the uh, intestine was there then we got to know that the patient was having a diaphragmatic rupture after we have released in the first x ray we were not able to appreciate that uh, diaphragmatic rupture because there was pressure which was built up by the pleural cavity over the diaphragm once we have inserted the icd the pressure released from the pleural cavity and the content of the stomach goes up that's how we were able to see the uh, diaphragm we were able to appreciate the diaphragmatic uh, rupture in an x ray then we got the ct done that we confirm the diaphragmatic rupture in these patients okay so diaphragmatic rupture is very rarely that it is uh, like single handedly uh, hampered but it always uh, possible that it will be uh, an uh, associated injury with the uh, other uh, trauma to the abdomen or to the chest so uh, now coming at a diaphragmatic rupture a tear in the diaphragm okay that allows the abdominal organs enter in the chest cavity okay uh, is known as diaphragmatic rupture which is most common in the left side as the right side we have a solid organ which is uh, liver which will uh, protect the diaphragm on the right side and it is associated with multiple injuries as i have told you that uh, as the patient that we have seen it was having a chest trauma and this uh, injury was associated with uh, this uh, diaphragmatic uh, rupture uh, which was associated with pneumothorax so now coming with uh, signs and symptoms of the patient the patient will be having abdominal pain because of the diaphragm rupture as diaphragm is a major uh, uh, muscle for breathing okay so there will be shortness of breath decrease breath sounds on the uh, side of the rupture which is mainly the left side because the right side is mainly protected by the liver as i've said so there will be decreased breath sounds because the uh, stomach will be there right on the left side of the chest the stomach and the other contents of the uh, stomach will uh, the abdomen will be on the uh, left side so uh, bowel sounds can be heard in the chest cavity you will be able to see, uh, hear the bowel sign sounds okay <clears throat> how we will manage we'll manage the abc again we'll manage the circulation of the patient we'll manage the c spine of the patient we'll see high flow oxygen we will see the associated injuries we'll deal with the associated injuries and we will call the surgeon for the for that intervention if the patient is having uh, an instability because of the diaphragmatic rupture which does not happen usually if you have any splenic injury if you do have any liver injury if you do have any an intestinal perforation if you do have any pneumothorax in these scenarios the patient will be unstable otherwise individually the diaphragmatic rupture does not cause any uh, major instability to the patient if it does not impact any uh, major vessels uh, then it can be dealt on uh, first conservative care 
care and then to be operative care. But if the surgeon says the patient is uh, the patient stays unstable and that you feel uh, it requires an immediate intervention, like patient is having splenic injury, needs an immediate intervention, so go ahead with a diaphragmatic rupture or uh, repair as well at that point of time. Okay. So, uh, in these patients, as I've so, uh, said already, associated injuries are majorly there. So, you have to check for the pneumothorax due to compression on lung by the abdominal contents. Then, you can do one thing. You can put a nasogastric tube to the patient. It will help to decompress the stomach. So, it will relieve some pressure into the chest. Okay, because your uh, stomach is in the chest now. If you put an uh, NG tube, so it will heal down the uh, pressure in the stomach.